Okay, welcome back to our Technology Tools for Educators online course series. In this video, we're going to be talking about Pixlr, which is an alternative to the expensive and really complicated Adobe Photoshop, which is really the most popular photo editing software available today. Pixlr is totally free and it does the bulk of what you're going to need to do to customize pictures and create new things for your online educational videos and courses. So this is all going to start to make sense. We're going to apply everything we've learned to making really engaging videos. Let's take a look at this presentation. Now this presentation, as you can see, I have I'm using a webcam or a video source right now. This is me. And next to me, I have my slides. On top of this is what's called a PNG file. And that's what we're going to make today so that you can create really engaging, cool looking videos. And we're going to apply them to either OBS, Open Broadcaster Software, EasyVid, or we're actually going to use it in post-production. So you're going to see all of that in the upcoming videos. Now, Pixlr.com, again, totally free. You can go there with your Chromebook. You can go there with your Mac or your PC computer. And you have two options. You have the playful Pixlr X or the advanced Pixlr E. Both of them are really powerful. And essentially what you have here is you've got a main working area in the middle there. And that's what you're kind of working on. On the left, you have a main toolbar. And we'll go over some of the most popular tools that you'll be using. And then on the right, you have what's called a project layering system. So you can have layers, and that's essentially how these photo editors work, is you can have a base layer and then another layer with text and then another layer with a different picture. And you can start mixing and customizing your photos. And, and this is going to be important, uh, and you'll see why. Now, in this lesson, we have a PNG file that you can use for this template. And this is going to be an exercise I want you guys to do with me here. So we're going to go to pixlr.com and we are going to click the upload button. We're going to add a layer to our project and we're going to add this PNG file. Again, you can find this PNG file in the Udemy course and go ahead and download it. It's going to be the base of our lesson. We're going to do it together. High level right now, we're just going to look at the Pixlr interface. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add some text to this PNG file. Now, I should mention that JPEG files are one layer. So generally, that they are there's no transparency. But you can see in the middle here, uh, th this part here is transparent, and this part here is transparent. It looks like a kind of a dark gray checkered background. We want that to be transparent because this is going to be overlaid on top of our webcam and another source. It could be our webcam source. Uh, let's go back to my shot really quickly so they can see it. my webcam right here, me, right? You as the educator and your content, right? Now, another way to do this, and I'm going to quickly show you, is you could have you and your document camera. And I'm going to quickly show you how that might work. So now here is my document camera. So you could be showing your students. I'm just you know showing a phone here. These are like some notes that I have that I'm going over, for example. But you have the option to go back and forth between those. So this layout is very valuable, and we're going to show you how to customize it. Okay, so you're seeing here, once you select a tool, we selected the text tool here, this sidebar comes up. And the sidebar allows you to choose some different options with the tool that you've selected. Now, on the right-hand side is where our layers are. So you can hide layers, and essentially layers are on top of another layer. So that's kind of how you manage what is on top of another thing. And this will all make sense in a moment. So this PNG file here, again, we're using it the top bar to put a title. We're going to put a text title there. The right-hand side is generally used for a webcam. And the document camera there, uh, or slides is in that centerpiece there. So that's how we're going to use it. Now, when we're finished with this project, and we're going to do this together in a second, but we're going to save it. And we got to remember, we're going to save it as a PNG file, not a JPEG, because PNG files are have that, hold that transparency that we're going to want to use this file in just a moment. So here is the beginning of Pixlr. 
So I'm going to go right from the beginning so everyone is clear about this. We go to Pixlr.com, and we're going to use the Playful Pixlr. We don't need the Advanced Pixlr. Uh, I don't think we'll need that at all in this presentation. Now, we could start a new project. And generally, just to familiarize yourself, 1920 by 1080 is generally what we're going to be working in. That's HD. That's called Full HD. And it's, it's a widescreen format. It's, it's the main, main format that most videos are created in today. So we're going to go ahead and create a project at that file. Now, over here in the bottom right, you can see this in the bottom right here, there's a little plus button. We're going to hit the plus button and we're going to hit Add Image. Now, I'm going to add this blank edu file here. This is just a simple file. Boom. This is the file that you have in your Udemy course. Don't forget to download it. This is what we're going to start with. Now, over here, I'm just going to click the text button and hit add new text. And we're going to pretend that this is a history lesson. So I'm just going to write history lesson number 12. And we'll call it, uh, we'll call it Philadelphia. A little history lesson on Philadelphia. Now, we can change the, the font. We can do a whole bunch of different things in here with different fonts to make it look cool and different. However you want to do it, uh, you have a lot of different opportunities to change it. Let's just do a simple one like that and drag it up to the top. Now, that's all we actually have to do here. If we want to add maybe one more text file, we'll go ahead and do this again. Add another text file. And we'll just say, um, you know, th this is this is up to you, but you could you could put some extra notes here. You could say assignment, you know, in learning management system group project number two. You know, if you wanted to, that's totally optional. But you could there's a little space down here. You could put an additional item here. Now. This is all we really need to do for this, for this presentation. We've now used Pixlr. We added some text. We can create entirely new. There's so much you can do here. You could do so much, but we're just going to keep it simple. We're going to save this. And we're going to save this as history lesson. And we're going to leave that as a PNG. If we were to do a JPEG, we wouldn't have those transparencies that we're going to use to insert our live video so we're just going to do a PNG and hit download. That's it, guys. That's all we're going to do with Pixlr today. There's so much more that you can do, but I wanted to give you a high-level look at using it for this course. If you just go through this exercise that we just went through, save it for your course. We're going to use this in our next tutorial using OBS, which is a totally free video production software, to do what we've been doing this entire course, which is mixing and matching video cameras with other sources to make high quality videos for your online learning management systems. I'll see you in the next video.